to Chicago's Prairie Avenue District at the South Loop, home of where Marshall Field and his buddies used to live. Today we're in Chicago's closest version of a castle, the Glessner House. Let's check it out. With the man of the house, or maybe better put the current man of the house, uh, director Bill Tyre. So from the outside, this place looks like a fortress. Can you tell me a little bit about the architecture? Yeah, so the architect was Henry Hobson Richardson out of Boston. This is very typical of his style, heavy rusticated stone, very different from anything being built on Prairie Avenue, and so it received a lot of attention. Now, if you had to choose a favorite room in the house, I think one of the best spots in the house is where we are right now. This is the parlor where they did all their entertaining. They were very interested in music, so all the great musicians of the world visited here during the time they lived in the house. I see a lot of books down there. Want to set the library? Can you check that out? Yeah, let's go take a look. All right. So this is a life mask in hands of Lincoln. Uh, it was done in 1860 when he was nominated for president. The original was plaster, because it was a real cast of his face. There was an interest in giving that to the Smithsonian. Mr. Glessner gave some of the money to make that happen, and he was given this copy in bronze, which he always kept on the desk. It actually has his name on the back side oh, wow. as one of the donors for the project. And uh, so it's one of our most uh, talked about pieces in the house. What's new at the museum, or is that kind of a weird question to ask? There's always something new. Uh, December, we opened up the John J. Simmerlin Gallery. Prairie Avenue history, I'd love to show it to you. Let's okay. check it out. Walking through the hallways of this house is insane. It truly feels like you're walking back 120 years. Now Bill, can you tell me a little bit about this Christopher Columbus piece behind us? This piece is actually from the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893. This piece was salvaged and then many years later they gave it to Jack and uh, became part of his collection here at the museum. Incredible. Here we are in the dining room, uh, right next to what looks like a very ornate giant punch bowl. Well, actually, the Glessners always called it their punch bowl, but in fact, we found out recently it is a rice bowl. The Glessners bought it at the Colombian Exposition from the government of Thailand, and when some visitors were here from that country, they looked at the design and told us that that showed it was actually made for the palace, for the king, mm. and so it's a real treasure here in the collection. And that's a real gem. I appreciate the tour today. Now, if people did want to check out the Glessner House, um, what are your normal hours? So we're open Wednesday through Sunday. We have tours at 1 and 3 o'clock, and then we also offer tours of the adjacent Clark House at 12 and 2. Groups can come at any time. Fun fact, the Clark House is Chicago's oldest house. I'll definitely be back at some point in time, and I'll see you later. <laughs>